News Alert. The mayor of Baltimore is speaking. Let's listen. Thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, what we see tonight that is going on in our city is very disturbing. It is very clear there is a difference between what we, what we saw over the past week with the peaceful protests, uh, those who wish to seek justice, those who wish to be heard and want answers, and the difference between those uh, protests and the thugs who only want to incite violence and destroy our city. I'm a lifelong resident of Baltimore. And too many people have spent generations building up this city for it to be destroyed by thugs who, in a very senseless way, are trying to tear down what so many have fought for, tearing down businesses, tearing down a destroying property, things that we know will impact our community for years. We are deploying every resource possible to gain control of this situation and to ensure peace moving forward. I've been in contact with our governor and he has agreed, and, and I've requested, and he has agreed uh, to deploy the National Guard as soon as they are available. They will be immediately deployed. We've ordered a curfew be in effect, instituting tomorrow the curfew citywide, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Again, there will be a citywide curfew, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. This preliminary curfew will last for one week and be extended as it is necessary. Let me be clear, we already operate under a juvenile curfew, and those, do, those uh, young people who are 14 and under have a 9 p.m. curfew because it is a school night. Over 14 is 10 p.m. That is tonight and every school night. Again, we have ordered a curfew to be instituted starting tomorrow, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And we've also activated the Emergency Operation uh, Center to be available to have a administration-wide response to uh, the incidents as they occur. I want to thank the City Council President Jack Young uh, for being here. I want to thank uh, Councilman Brandon Scott uh, for being here. Also, Councilman Eric Costello. I want to thank uh, Kiefer Mitchell for being here on behalf of Governor Hogan uh, and, for, and uh, for all of your work uh, coordinating this response. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Colonel D'Souza to speak and then I will ask Council President Jack Young. Colonel. 